Alrighty, everybody, welcome to a very special episode of All Shift Gaming Custom Zombies here. It is just me today, Grizzly Dude 23 uh, We are doing so well with the zombies that we ran out of fails videos. So we had nothing to post for, for this Saturday. So I figured, hey, Cayman's working. I wanted to play some zombies. Let's get on here and make a special solo map. So, I don't even remember what this the name of this map. It, it was something weird, some some kind of like German German name or something like that. I I can't think of it off the top top of my head, but I will definitely obviously put that in the title when I figure out what map it is. Okay, I need a better weapon. I need something other than the MR6. Ooh, missed. Here we go. So this is a fun little map. I tested it the other day. We, I was planning on doing it for, um, you know, for us doing it together for ASG, but... Okay, there was no extra... There's a little pot there. <laughs> I was planning on doing it for, you know, ASG with Cayman. But, you know, obviously we needed a video. And I didn't want to just do a regular map. We like giving you something special on the weekends. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to get on here and do it anyway. Oh, shoot. Ouch. All right, let's get out of this room. Ooh, I went the opposite direction of what I went the last time I tested it. Okay, 1250. Nice. See, I could have went this way to get the box. But we're going to get the CUDA because I like the CUDA. It worked well for me before playing this. So that's what I'm going to stick with. You know, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> the classic saying, but it holds true. Ooh. I maybe should have played a warm-up round or something. I'm a little, little rusty. Uh, if you, ooh, 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 hey. If you watched my vlog, I said, you know, um, my latest vlog, I said I was, test it well it may not even be my latest vlog I'm not sure but uh the vlog that went up on Thursday morning let me put it that way if you were watching that I said in the beginning that you know I was testing zombie maps I had literally just finished playing this map when I started recording that so I get on here and test them on occasion just to make sure like if the description's a little confusing you know or or it still has uh whip whip or in work or something like that in the title or the description i like to hop in here to make sure make sure it's okay you know i don't hey look the cuda um you know i don't want to be coming in here playing something and it be you know it just not be worth it because like um geez i don't remember what the actual map name is but we called it glitcho and glitcho revisited that map was a work in progress was nowhere near finished and that's why we had the issues that we did so just to stop from wasting our time and stuff like that i started you know testing the maps make sure everything's on dory it kind of ruins a little bit of the excitement for for me but i normally only play like five rounds Just five rounds to make sure the game functions correctly. Or the map, I should say, functions correctly. And then just go with it. Oh, I didn't want to get that. Whatever. It's all good. Let's see what we can get out of the box. Weevil! Yes! I'm going to have points for days. Okay, KN... 
I think power's right outside here, if I remember correctly. So, KN, Alcar, don't really care. You must turn on power first. What if I don't want to? <laughs> well, you kind of need to if you want some perks. So, we're going to go with this map as long as possible or till we hit round 23. Because, you know, I'm the main reason why we stop at 23. It's my favorite number. Ooh. I'm trying to listen behind me, make sure there's no zombies in that room over there. So I figured while I'm in here, I can give you guys a little bit of tidbits for those of you who haven't played zombies f before. The key to this game, and it'll take a little bit of practice to do, is always be moving. Always be moving unless you get in an area where you have like a long hallway and they all funnel down in like one or two lines and then that's when you can, you know, ADS and just spray and pray basically. Oh, the door was only 1500. I could have gotten it. <laughs> oh, that's right. This door costs another 1500. Oh, there it is. Power. Prepare for the lag. Yeah, you know, constantly be moving. You're less likely to be hit if you're moving. Ooh, pack a punch. Okay. So we can't buy that yet. But you know, always, always be moving. Uh, get, get like the Weevil or the Cuda. It does enough. I mean, obviously don't like super waste your points, but they... They do enough damage to put a zombie down, but you're going to get a decent amount of points beforehand. So when we say, you know, get a point builder, the like the Elkar, the uh, the Weevil, the Cuda, to me, they're all point builders. Basically, anything that's like an SMG or um, a fully auto, yeah, full, full auto AR. Anything in that, in that range, to me... Is a point builder. And then, you know, if you can, aim for the chest. I tend to aim for the head by accident. It's just sort of... I know it works. That comes from me not being very good at this game originally. You know, I'm, I've really only been playing zombies for... Basically since January. You know, I, I really... I mean, I played it a little bit before, but ooh, I'm, for the most part, I hated it. I hated zombies, um, especially when I played like World at War. I hated it because I just wasn't that good, and I was playing on console. And it's so difficult to play on console, but it's so much easier to play this game, you know, with a mouse and a keyboard. It's so much easier to aim and actually hit where you're... Where are you shooting for? Man, it's only round eight. Double points. Ooh, nice. Double points. I haven't gotten a death machine drop yet. Another key to this game is not do what I just did there. Don't run out of bullets. You know? Re reload as often as possible just in case you get a group like this and you have a hard time putting them down you know you want to have that full clip I'm gonna need a max ammo soon well not really I still have CUDA ammo I haven't gotten any perks yet Insta kill. Ooh. All right, jug. Depending on what kind of map you want to get jug first. If you're if you're not very good at moving around a lot, then jug is always your best option. Then usually it's speed, and then double tap afterwards. Sometimes you can, you know, depending on the map, you can do. I always forget the HVKs here. Depending on the map, you can do um, double tap first. I mean, it, it really, really does 
depend on the makeup of the map. If it's like timed gameplay or something like that, depending on where you're at, I would suggest getting double tap first. Just because you know you have that little extra oomph to put him down. But what's really best is, you know, with time gameplay, you get points quick if you have the right weapon. So, usually, I'll do a one-two combo. You know, just get double tap and jug just to make sure I'm okay. Time gameplay, speed. Speed is crucial as well, obviously, because they're not stopping. So, you need to be able to reload quick and get moving. All right, let's get double tap now. I kind of like the music. <laughs> like the music. Hey, both Cayman and my wife Peaches drive one of these. Oh no, Cayman doesn't drive one. I don't, well, I don't know. He might. I'm not 100% certain what that what that man does for work. I know he makes stuff with chemicals, and sometimes it's super dangerous. And even though you know I'm a big science science nerd and stuff like that. Chemistry wasn't my strong suit. Biology was. So when he's talking about, oh, you know, I had to had to do this and that to be able to, you know, make this kind of reaction. I have no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> Not a clue. But I'm a good friend. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's nice, man. That's, that's cool. Sounds like a good story. Oh, shoot. That wasn't good. Let's get out of here. Stay away from tight spaces, because that kind of stuff right there, oof, I swear I was going to go down there. That kind of stuff will kill you. Oh, this map doesn't have mule. Doesn't have mule and it doesn't have an ending. But we're working towards pack a punch. I'm going to pack a punch to Kuda first. Wait, do I want to do... Do I want to do Kuda? Yeah, I'll do Kuda first. Just because I don't have any ammo. Nice. Deadshot. Decory. Actually, how much is Deadshot? It's 1,500. Never mind. Mm-mm-mm. mm All right. He's a runner. Not of ammo. Ow! See what I mean? Constantly be moving. Do not stand still anywhere. It's just not smart. Oh, right in the head. I almost exclusively ADS. I don't. I don't know if it's just to. I don't know. Make sure I'm not wasting ammo. It could be my military training. You just. You always ADS, no matter what you're doing. I have no clue. All right, let's pack punch the weevil, and then start getting some major points going on. The barrage. Oh yeah. It's gonna bother me now that I can't. I can't think of what this map's called. It's, it's been bothering me the whole time. I'm pretty sure the end of like it's a it's a two word title I'm pretty sure the last word was something similar to Alan Alain I just can't I don't know I can't keep it straight hmm oh shoot maybe I should get stamina what's nice about this map is oof. Ow, ow. 
Shoot. Okay, maybe. Never mind. Uh, for the most part, it's a giant circle. So if you could get it right, you could actually train them all to go in a circle. Wait till you get in a big area and just mow them down. That's, an that's another thing. If you're playing with two people, or even if you're playing by yourself, go in a circle. You know, get get a big group of them together, all following you, and just go to town. Stamina. Up. All right, here we go. We're starting to get a little quick. Carpenter will help, but not completely. Oh, jeez. I'm in a little bit of a try-hard mode right now. <laughs> Woo! Ow. That wasn't good. See, I'm just running. Only shooting at the ones in my way. Oh! And then you do this. Double points. Double your points. Double your pleasure. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo for the for the barrage. I, I every time I shoot, I try to hit try to hit R to reload. It don't work that way, Grizzly. Really, what I should do is I should get the HEK. How much is it? 1600. Okay, so we're a little shy of being able to pack a punch it. That's alright. We'll get there. I'm not sure I would want to go upstairs. Go upstairs and try to pack a punch mid round. I don't think that'd be smart. Where are they at? I can hear them. Oh, they're all behind me. Oh, jeez. Get the death machine, yes. Oh, jeez. He snuck up on me. This is nice. <laughs> Death machine's almost over. Nice. There we go. High velocity kicker. Boom. HVK. In my opinion, really, really good pack punch weapon. Especially once you get to higher rounds. Whoa, crawler. There was a crawler there. That's the worst part about crawlers is you don't always see them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love like the, the HVK, Peacekeeper. They're all they're all weapons where you can you can build points pretty good with them, but you can stretch it. You know, before you have to pack a punch. You can go an extra round or two. Without having to pack a punch it. Which to me is to me is good. So I'll get another weapon, you know, I'll pack a punch my other weapon first. And then do the H the HVK or the Peacekeeper afterwards. Oh shoot. I gotta stay on the move. Gotta keep moving. Oh shoot. Out, out. Not the starting area now. Oh jeez. 
How am I? I was gonna say, how am I not getting smacked? All oh, right. I think one of my favorite features of some of these. Oh, I need that. Some of my favorite features of these custom maps is the zombie counter. Zombie counter is so important, at least to me. <laughs> Especially if you know it's like it's a big map. That way you know where to stop shooting. Can I? Can I get this? Oh, I can. Okay. I thought there might have been only been a like a four perk limit. Let's double pack just for some fun. Hmm. All right. Uh oh, this might be bad. Oh, that was the end of the round. Okay. <laughs> So basically, I left a zombie. It's a nice looking map. I mean, it's a small little map. Nothing crazy. What is... I don't think that's anything that way. I don't think it's technically part of the map. I mean, it might be, but it not really. Fireworks! I double packed and didn't even see what I got. Hmm. Hmm. These kind of maps, when you're playing solo, a turned would probably be the best. Turn, dead wire. Dead wire is pretty good. I like the turn because he kind of goes nuts. Dead wire does that. So it's basically the equivalent of a cherry. You know, the cherry soda or whatever it's called. I don't know what the legitimate names for some of these perks are. That wasn't smart. I could have gotten trapped right there. See, that's the kind of things that catch me sometimes. I get trapped. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta keep moving. There's a guy behind me. Mean old zombies. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, we're up to round 17. Nice. Is there any other perks that we could possibly try to get? Qu quick revive, I guess. I'm not sure why we would, but we could. I don't think there were any other perks. You know what? I think I might go up into that house. Go upstairs here and try to defend that. Because, you know, they they funnel up the steps. So, tactically, that makes the most sense. And they don't spawn up here. You know, we could... Even if we needed to retreat, we could... Hmm. Nice. Insta-kill. Oops. That wasn't good. My grenade went too far. Love insta-kill. So easy. Take a nice little breather. But yeah, we could definitely defend this. Because as, as we saw before, when... Uh, when I was pack punching, we could e even if we had to, uh, you know, retreat to over here. They basically funnel around that little fence around the stairs and come this straight direction. So we'd have a very small area that we would have to shoot into. So it's a possibility. You know what? I think I'm gonna repack this. Hi, friend. Let's see what I get. Blast furnace. No. Give me fireworks again. Really? I'm gonna waste all my points doing this. 
I'm really trying to get it turned. Can I get Thunderwall? I guess that's okay. It's alright. Alright, now we just sit here and wait. Okay, that didn't go very well either. Boom! Ragdoll! See, if you, if, as you're playing, you really watch the, how the zombies train, like, their, their tracking path, you can come up with little tactics stuff. <coughs> oh, sorry. You can come up with little tactics to help you. Ah, I need a max ammo. Like, really bad. Oh shoot, here we go, people. This will be the end. Possibly. Oh! Stop! No, Super Red! Yep, there it is! Alrighty, you guys. I wasn't paying attention to my ammo, but... There it is. Solo Grizzly Zombies. Way better than that live stream I did. The first video ever up on this channel. So much better. Man, my ping rate should have one more. Alright, you guys. Later!